Okay, so this is my own opinion based around the situation with Mina as somebody who has been going through a lot of mental health issues ever since I was a child. I have been going through it ever since I was probably around the age of eight years old. It got bad around 13 and I'm now in therapy because I am diagnosed at the moment with borderline personality disorder, dissociative identity disorder, anxiety and a lot more than that. <laughs> so yeah, let's begin. All right, so here's some background. So basically, Mina came out saying that Jimin from AOA bullied her for around 10 years when the, the group was active and when she was active within the group. She was also going through a lot of suicidal intentions and attempting suicide and a lot of self-harm issues. And she still appears to be going through them now. So a lot of people have been genuinely um, wondering, what do we really do about this? Because to be honest, whenever we support her and give her sympathy, she harms herself and she gets worse. However, when we ignore her, she gets worse, which, yeah, to be honest, she is mentally unwell, so that is pretty much to be expected. So one of the things that I think is going on with her is that her brain has created a pathway when she came out about Jimin because she must have believed that Jimin was mistreating her because she seemed pretty serious about it and she has made a lot of contradicting statements without properly realising that her statements are contradictive. So she came out saying, you know, Jimin bullied me for like 10 years straight and everybody went over to support her as we'd normally would. However, her brain must have created a pathway saying sympathy makes me feel good. And this is one thing that I experience with my dissociation. I have a pathway that says if I go through pain, I have to dissociate. So what she might have been actually going through and still going through is the fact that if somebody gives her sympathy, she's going going to harm herself to for more sympathy basically because you know that's her pathway and that is what makes her feel good and this is very easily noticeable based on the fact that um when she's in the spotlight this gets worse on that note that doesn't really mean that she's attention seeking because some people may take that as oh so mina's attention seeking well actually no a really good example of what i mean by this is the fact that i do not purposely choose to dissociate when i fall over it happens almost automatically and what may be happening with her is that she's automatically and subconsciously looking for sympathy She's looking for almost that connection and that feel-good feeling. And, you know, of course, that never gives her an excuse for any of the things that she has done that is manipulative and, well, horrible to do. But that could be a quick explanation of what she is going through. As my 14-year-old sister said, if we give her attention and sympathy that we automatically think that we should do, she is going to die because she is going to attempt to kill herself, especially if she loses that sympathy. But if we ignore her, she's going to kill herself because she wants that sympathy. And that is one of the issues that a lot of the K-pop fandom is at the moment facing. Now we're probably thinking, like, what do we actually do about this? Because every idea and everything that we can do just doesn't work because she literally would try to hurt herself no matter what and the issue is with that question is the fact that that there's actually no straightforward answer there's nothing to really say hey this is exactly what you should do because honestly it's not our responsibility to make her feel better it's not really our responsibility to put our own mental health on the line to make her feel better it's her responsibility to get the help that she needs and sometimes that can actually be really difficult which is a completely separate conversation based around the fact that some people just cannot get help but even if somebody cannot get help, there are some forms of sources to help you manage how you feel, whether you practice your own self-care and your CBT skills, which is cognitive behavioural therapy. So the final conclusion is, what do we do, you know? I don't think we can do anything other than look after ourselves, because honestly, it's not our place, it's not really anything that we should be doing. We don't actually help her, like, ever, honestly, She's quite manipulative and she is very mentally unwell. 
because obviously the mental health system that she's under because she's clearly underneath a mental health system within South Korea is massively failing her. All of the sources and the techniques that she has been given by her psychiatrist is clearly isn't working because if it was working would she be acting this way? That's the point that I'm trying to make. Would she be acting this way if the help that she's receiving was working? And then there's also the other section of we should hold her accountable for the issues and the things that she has done because you can be mentally unwell and still be problematic. And this is more the case. Mina is problematic. She does problematic things. And maybe, yeah, it's because of her mental health issues. But we have to be able to point out those problematic things to help her out. And we can't really do that because every method that we have, she's going to harm herself. So yeah, that's basically it. We don't really have much to really do or say because it's not our place. And honestly, that can be really hard for some people to really accept and understand because if you really think about it, there's so many people that care about her. Many K-pop YouTubers, so many fans, so many fans are biased towards her. Sometimes the self-harm can actually feel like it is the fandom's fault because we should be doing something about this, right? But trust me, it's no one's fault for you know, what is going on. It's not Everglobe's fault. It's not like Angelina's. It's literally no one's. She is being failed by the mental health system and there's nothing we can really do. We have been watching her deteriorate literally from the minute that she came out about Jimin and it's horrible, but we can't do anything about it. So please practice self-care. Do what you need to do and do not put yourself in any vulnerable positions. Like, if you find that Mina's content is triggering, do what you need to do.